It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Detroit Lions, and it's coming up next. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Detroit Lions. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, these Detroit Lions, they won over a lot of people with the way they played under Dan Campbell last year. They started 1-6, and six, found their... The punter Jack Fox has us ready to go, and we are underway here at Ford Field. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So here are the Rams set to go to work on offense, and they're led by a man who topped the 50,000-yard mark in passing for his career a season ago. In year 15 now, here's Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick throughout his career. He's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. And they'll send Cup in motion right. Now a first down throw, Stafford. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now a second and ten. Now it's Stafford. He'll drop this down to Williams. Five yards. Now it's third and five. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. And they'll get him down. He's inside the 40. Stafford to his number one guy, Cup, for a Los Angeles first. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Call it a gain of three on the play at its second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Now here's a throw. It's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 20-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Open man. Higby, the tight end. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. Third and seven now. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. Looks like that's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackle to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Touchdown! Puka Nakua. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Rams will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. 
And a glance here at the veteran who will be leading them. Now in his eighth year in the NFL. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm time when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? He's going to sling this deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, able to avoid him. He's still on his feet. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Room here to run. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Davis now. Flush to his right. Skirts by at the 15. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Opting to run for it. The decision of Goodwin picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. Davis throwing on first down. And in for the Lions touchdown. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Lions respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Point after here, coming up. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. So now the possession will begin at the 35 after the errant kickoff. Well, that's certainly one way to avoid a dangerous kick returner, I suppose. But Automatic you are giving up extra yardage, that's for sure. Because if you put it out of the end zone, they start at the 25. So at a minimum, you're giving up 10 yards to the offense. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Levi Onzerike charging in and finishing off the sack. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Off of play action, here's Stafford. They'll get this one complete to Atwell. It'll go as a gain of four, and they'll be facing a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Right back to Atwell, that's complete. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. They'll get 34 yards there. Back to throw. Stafford. This throw caught right around the six. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. And mark him at the five. Great gains back-to-back. -back. Last time over 30 yards, better than 20 here. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal.
7-7. Our score after one. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they come up now, second and goal. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. He's got it. It's Higby. Touchdown Rams. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Rams have taken the lead. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. Point after try, forthcoming. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. That time, a six-play drive. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game, these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last time. Let's see what happens here. It's a game of 35. Well, he worked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He has such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. It delivers a big play here for this offense. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Davis flushed out right. Man, it's caught at the six yard line. And whether it's a running back or another receiver as they zip out on the sideline, you've got a problem on your hands. Yeah, well, the defenders hate it there. It happened, and it resulted in a touchdown. Extra point right down the middle, and we are tied at 14. ready to kick off their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And the Lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards. The 
partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere, where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out.